Well, the local Liberian community is voicing their concerns about the virus. Today, dozens of people from West Africa got together to discuss the problem here and overseas. And News on 6 reporter Aaron Conrad was at the meeting this afternoon. And Aaron, what was that meeting focused on? Well, Shira, the meeting was put together in order to alleviate some concerns and provide education about the disease in order for those in the Liberian community to be more proactive than reactive. Very important because we know lack of information breeds fear, fear, and fear brings what panic. It's a disease hitting close to home for Liberians in Tulsa. Ebola is not only a concern for their hard hit home country, but now it's a concern here in the U.S. Texas is just right next door to uh, uh, Oklahoma, and Dallas precisely is just right next to Tulsa. So it's, it's, it's something that uh, Tulsa needs to be prepared. And representatives with the Tulsa County Health Department say they are, saying the risk to the area is minimal something another local doctor agrees with. I don't think that the average person in the United States needs to be worried or fearful, something that needs to be taken seriously, uh, but I, I don't in any way think people should panic, or, you know, run out and buy, you know, biosafety level four suits or anything to that effect. Dr. Edwards has been in the medical field for more than 20 years, starting out as a medic in the military, serving overseas in Iraq. His advice, know the warning signs, how you can get infected, and not to panic. If you're not at risk and haven't come into contact with anyone with Ebola, you don't have Ebola. I mean, it, it's, you know, we don't, we don't make it up out of nowhere. These are the kinds of facts leaders with the local Liberian community hoped would come across in Sunday's discussion. We've tried to inform our people about Ebola and how to prevent themselves from getting the disease and how to protect themselves and the community at large. Protecting themselves and the community, taking a proactive approach by arming themselves with the facts and encouraging them to be cautious with anyone traveling to and from West Africa. So I think it is very important that Liberians in Tulsa have some level of understanding of what the, the epidemic is like. For more information about the disease, visit newson6.com where we've posted some links. Erin Conrad, News on 6.